So let's look at a second question. A company produces 50,000 units per week with 200 workers. The rate of change of production with respect to the rates to the change in the number of additional labor x is represented as 300 minus 5x power 2 over 3. So if 64 additional laborers are employed, the question says we should find out the additional number of units the company can produce. So let's look at something here. They are telling us the company is producing 50,000 units every week. And they are doing so with what? 200 workers. And they also made us to understand that the rate of change of production, the rate of change, so for instance, if our production is being represented as P, then the rate of change of production is going to be dp over dx because the function is in terms of x if it was in terms of t it's going to be dt dp over dt but here the production function is in terms of x and therefore the rate of change of production is dp over dx and they are telling us that it is represented by 300 minus 5 exponents minus 5x exponent 2 over 3. So now, as I said earlier on, this is in the form of rate of change, right? So they are telling us that, as I said, the rate of change, it's for example, the integration, when you are doing integration, it tells us how things are being changed at a particular point, right? So this function will help us to determine if any additional labor is being added to the 200, how is the production going to change, right? So this is basically a gradient function. And we want the accumulation of whatever changes will come when we are moving from 0 to 60. So in this case, our limit is going to be dp dx equal to the integral of 0 to 64. And then the function is 300 minus 5 x power 2 over 3 and don't forget it's it's being integrated with respect to x so in doing this taking the integral of both sides we are going to get p which is the production function and therefore integrating our right hand side we are going to get 300 x multiplied by 64 minus 300 or minus minus 3 multiply by 64 exponent 5 over 3. So not to jump a step, let me write the integral of this one over here. The integral is going to be 300x minus 3x times or exponent 5 over 3. And don't forget that we have a limit from 0 to 64. So based on that, since all these ones contain x in it, it's going that when we substitute the zero inside, we are going to get everything zero. So this is the upper limit minus the lower limit, and the lower limit is zero. And therefore, at the end of the day, our production from zero to 64 is going to be giving us 16,128 units. So let's see something here. The total number of additional units produced is going to be 16,128. So the total number of units produced by this 
264 wickets is going to be the existing 50,000 that the company can produce a week with 200 wickets the plus the 64 additional wickets and therefore we are going to get about 66,128 units so in total these 264 workers can increase the production level up to 66,128. Um, 60, so that is the whole, that's the whole about the question yet. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.